Here's a female tarantula hawk, nectaring on goldenrod. She's a big female. The ladies are larger than the males. You can also tell the female because her antennae curl. The male's nectar also, but she has a different part of her lifestyle. She goes after a tarantula, locates a tarantula, has a tussle, wins the battle, drags it off, puts it in a hole, lays an egg on it. The egg emerges as a larvae, wanders around inside, eats non-dead stuff first, eats the non-essentials, ultimately as it's pretty good size, the tarantula then is dead, the larva develops a pupa, and ultimately emerges about this size as an adult. Male tarantula hawks are smaller than the female. The male has erect antennae. They rarely coil. They're usually straight. Hers curl beautiful blue-black body. The male is just will uh, mate with her. He can't sting you, only she has a stinger. She would prefer to use that stinger on a tarantula, not a person. However, people have been stung by tarantula hawks. Uncomfortable. It's a barbless stinger. It's not like a honeybee. No barb. So she can sting you more than once. If she's angry enough, that might happen. But right now, she's a happy camper. Looks like she probably won't sting me. She's feeding. She doesn't eat tarantulas. She just lays an egg on them. Uh, her source of food is nectar and pollen. In the process, this flower is pollinated. She's not caring if she's pollinating the flower. She's only looking for nourishment. Female tarantula hawk. Getting nourishment for her flight tomorrow morning. Looking for a tarantula. A pepsis wasp on goldenrod. Other name, tarantula hawk. Thank <laughs> you.